Start to the work week. We're in Commerce City right now, and I-270 is still closed in both directions based on an officer-involved shooting four hours ago, just before 3 o'clock. What we've noticed in the last few minutes is a lot more activity. It appears that investigators wanted to wait until the sun came up before they could get out onto the interstate itself and start taking the measurements they need with an officer-involved shooting. We understand the trooper was not hurt, but it's not clear if the suspect was. We believe this started just before 3 o'clock with a hit-and-run accident, and we're just now seeing a vehicle, a blue sedan, that looks as if it was recently damaged. That's what we'll be asking Commerce City Police and the State Patrol about. We understand they'll be issuing a joint press release at some point. What is clear right now, Jason, is this is going to be a real difficult situation for the entire commute. Yeah, it is, Tyler. Unfortunately, and we're going to see these delays. You can see here 270 in Vasquez, and now let me show you on the map, too, how you can try to get around some of these closures. So you can see right here we have this entire section closed down from I-70 all the way to I-25. Most folks are using I-76 to 74th Avenue to Vasquez and then back to the highway. The I-70 and I-25 drives are one of the alternates, but however, they are badly jammed up, as you can see from some of these pictures. Look at I-76 and look at I-70, how badly jammed that is. So it's going to be in place, unfortunately, for a while longer. Everything else around town is nice and quiet.